Ladies and gentlemen, Mystery Con with your weekly update video for you guys. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, the stream is at 9 a.m. Saturday, U.S. Central Time. Stop by for that. We're going to be a lovely journey talking about the new girls, stuff like that, and giving away a free admission prep. So stop by for that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. All right, so let's get into this. Nice new Gwyn and Bridget skin this week. It's not bad. It looks pretty good on them. All right, the event time is going to be from the 8th to the 14th, so that's 7th to the 13th for me. So if you're, if you're day behind, remember you're day behind. Uh, four wheels, 150 gems, and five fishing rods for this week. All right, so lovely journey. First up, you go around the board, pretty simple. Uh, you land on the corals. They upgrade from level one, two to three, and they go from three, four to five. If you don't know, if it's your first time and you're doing this and so on, uh, just remember, lovely, the top left, you can see her up there. She goes from down one, and then she goes to the right and bottom. She goes around clockwise, I should say. And when you land on items that have levels on them, they go up. You don't have to land on the corals to get the corals. As long as you land on them or get past them, you will get them. Simple as that. Remember, if you land on the Whirlpool, it cuts your moves in half, so don't use your advance wheel on that. If you do get an advance wheel, ladies and gentlemen, use your advance wheel to get another advance wheel. That's a free move around the board. Just remember that. All right. This right here, if you're new, will explain everything, what kind of what it does. Also, you land on the pearls, which you saw up earlier, up there, which is these right here on the corners. There is a pearl shop. So when you get enough pearls, you come down here and you grab stuff. Now, if you are probably uh, spending on the game, you're probably going to want to grab this Lord Dracula. I'm going to be honest. But if you're not and you're free to play our light spenders, probably want to grab the Servant Crystals first because all core matters, believe it or not. It does. So grab your uh, Servant Crystals as much as possible. That way you can get your all core up. At least to 80 because that's... Most people are going to using... Most people care about PV, so they're mostly likely going to use Hunter. So getting your all core at least to 80 is going to help out drastically in doing PV stuff. Uh, obviously getting to 100, you're going to be going after records and stuff. So if you care about that, go with that. But 100%, grab the servant crystals first. Whenever you got left, grab what you need, essentially. All right, and right here, it'll tell you what you get for um, how many coral branches you get. So free-to-play light spenders, you're probably going to get from, let's say, you're doing a free-to-play run, which is 70 wheels. Uh, you're going to go between 230 and 170. Depends on how bad or good your RNG. Some people get really lucky and get to like 250, right? With just free free wheels. So that is a one -off. That's very rare, but you, you're usually trying to just get to 200. That's what your mark is trying to be. Get that normal faction box for free, essentially. And of course, the ways to obtain wheels are going to be 30, 30 is that you buy with gems. So it's 40, you need 4,500 gems in total. Uh, you get four from logging in every day and then 20 from exclusive tasks. Just remember that. Make sure you log in every day to get them. If you don't log in, you won't get the wheels. I realized that a long time ago when I ever first came out when I didn't log on my alt account, I didn't get a wheel. But remember, remember to log in every single day to get all the wheels. And we have Seaside Fishing. So this is an event where you're using fisher rods. You have to have five to do one pull and you get rewards for how many times you pull for fish. So, and then you, if you get the correct fish, you get the nice little reward right here. Thing that says redfish, if you pull a redfish, you get this reward essentially. So, on top of what the other rewards are, we'll, we'll see in a second. But you can obtain fishing rods from uh, daily logins. Uh, you get them from s spinning the wheels. So, you get one fishing rod for each wheel you use, including advanced and normal wheels. So, let's say you use 80, right? You would get 80 fishing rods on top of what you log in daily, uh, log in daily stuff too. So, just remember that here this shows you what rewards you normally get from just pulling the fish and then if you pull the correct fish which is up there which is this little part right here you get one of these rewards whatever's shown on the screen that's what you'll get and of course you get rewards after obtaining so many fish so many times so remember five fishing rods is one fish so it takes 50 fishing rods to fish 10 times so uh probably free to play light spenders are probably just going to get to the 15 to be honest, that's 25. So be aware of that. Of course, if you're spending, this is what you're going to, uh, or spending with stuff, you're going to start getting into this right here. All right, next up is entrance exam. I will cover this tomorrow in more detail, like I always do. Uh, just for, know that the new girl is Shizuku. I'm hope, I probably said that bad, but Shizuku is uh, the new girl. It's a ghost girl, so we'll see what her abilities are. I don't know for sure. Sal might have them in his uh, spreadsheet already. I don't know for sure. But it's, eventually he'll post it in there. 
if if uh, it comes out before tomorrow when we see it in the or today in the game. So um, just stay tuned for that video. As always, I'll cover that then. Uh, remember mission prep. It's a good deal, so get it if you can. If not, you can always stop by the stream and give them one away. So stop by for that. Next up, exclusive test. This is what I was talking about where you get the other wheels, the 20 from. So you're trying to save up every month for this and Girls Assembly, essentially. Girls Assembly happens during a roll. This happens during Lovely's Journey. So they're two weeks apart. So uh, make sure you have enough four-star shards of one, 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 one girl of the... Can't talk today. Specific factions right here. That way you can uh, get these wheels. The girls don't really matter. They don't really give us any good ones. The gears help out uh, for new players really well. Just collecting them over time and building up to angels and class sets. But these wheels are definitely what you're after. And of course, these are not worth it. Please don't do it. I'm going to say this again. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You've been warned. Just don't do it. It's a waste. Collector's treasure. This is this. I looked at this earlier uh, before and uh, when I was first reading this infograph. And it's just for VIP. It just gives you... You get one free one, and then you get more from uh, purchasing VIP. Essentially, it's just a pay-to-win thing. So if you're paying for Lovely's Journey anyways, you're probably just going to get easy because uh, VIP XP level, it's 3500 for getting it all. So if you just buy $100 in the game, you're just going to get all of this. And eventually, if you get all of it, you're just getting guaranteed a one customized AD chest and 5,000 standard files and exclusive, uh, 1,000 exclusive files. Essentially, just a little bit extra rewards for spending for people. It's nothing really too fancy or great. Let's skip it. Not really worth talking about. Next up, we got some packs to buy. Lovely's Elite Supply. Here we go. Uh, that's always grabbed, great to grab this week. That, uh, the skin pack, mission prep, stuff like that. Or the 499 deals, which you'll see in a second. Next, we have our Oath Pack for Phyrexy. The Phyrexy skin's here. Look at that. A lot of mixed feelings with people, but I think it looks good. Red Riding's Hood gift. I personally don't like how it is now. I used to like it back in the day. It was, but 10 days. Now it's down to seven. Anyways, uh, you can get these if you want to. It's up to you. I personally think that they, it was the best thing in the game back in the day when it was just Red Riding Hood for 20. It kind of demolished it a little bit and just died a little bit diluted. So I think in Mission Prep it would be better than those, honestly, to tell you the truth. But that's up to you. Of course, these are all the same. It's just that the uh, uh, fishing rods are there this time. And, of course, special gift packs uh, right here. 49 deals are going to be the honestly better than the emission prep in a way, but they're both equally same, I think. So if you can't get the emission prep, just grab some 49 deals for yourself this week, if not, if you want to. And if you collect your skin pack, your skin's right here. Uh, collect them in the game. There you go. It's right there for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, a mission, uh, interesting exam I'll cover tomorrow. And, of course... Uh, is going to be Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Time. Hope to go see you guys there. We did a lovely journey. Last time we did really, really bad. Like, it took us like over 120 spins just to get an advanced wheel, which is insane. So hopefully this time it's not that bad. With that being said, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.